Okay, like I said, we are going to look at coding collision detection. So we're going to see if our bullets intersect with our aliens. We're going to create a, a new sub for that. So let's call uh, private sub. Now, here we can name our sub anything. Uh, anybody like, like to volunteer what they like to name it? Just raise your hand. Uh -huh, just kidding. I'm sure you thought that was funny. Let's go with collide. And we're just gonna we're not gonna pass it anything. All collide is going to do is gonna look to see if a bullet intersects with a alien. Alright. And if it does, something's gonna happen. So we're gonna say if bullet bullets at spot oh, and you know what we're gonna have to do this inside of a for loop. Okay. So uh, let's back up a little bit. And we're gonna go for x whoops x equals one two number of bullets all right and then what are we going to do we're going to say if bullets at spot x okay so uh, if the first bullet the second bullet, so forth now what do we want we want um bounds which is pretty cool. It just gives you the dimensions. It's saying, all right, whatever's inside, or sorry, this is going to re return a number that kind of corresponds to the boundary of the bullet. And then we want to say, uh, I think is it all one word? Intersects with, there we go, intersects with, open brackets. And what do we want it to check? We want to see if it intersects with, um, alien. Aliens. And now which alien? Well, if I put X here and then dot bound, it may seem right, but it's actually not going to do what we wanted because this is technically checking, all right, if bullet at spot one, if bullet at spot one intersects with alien at one, then, now let's just finish the if statement here. Then, we're going to make the alien disappear. So, alien at spot x dot hide. And so that alien takes off. Now, you may think, alright, this is easy. We check at spot 1. If bullet 1 intersects with alien 1, then disappear that alien, alien 1. And then it goes up to x equals 2. If bullet 2 intersects with alien 2, get rid of alien 2. Seems right. I hope some of you picked up how that's not going to work. What happens if we had bullet number 1 and it was supposed to hit alien number 5? Technically, we'll never see that. So, we need another for loop. So we're going to go 4. Let's use y equals 1, 2. Again, number, oh, whoops, bullets, and what do we need here, and if next y, and next x. Technically, we don't need the y and the x, but it just, remember, it helps keep it clean. So now let's take a look at what we got going on here. Um, if bullet at x bounds with alien at y, uh, then get rid of alien at y. And also, y is just going to rifle through our aliens. So it's not going to be the number of bullets. It's going to be the number of aliens. Okay, so let's change that to number of aliens. <laughs> Hope you guys like my spelling. I'm going to fix that in a second. Okay, so now let's take a look. Let's follow the procedure and see, follow this for loop. So at x equals 1, y equals 1. So at bullet number 1 intersects with alien number 1. If that is true, then hide the alien. If it's not true, get the next y. y equals 2. If bullet at still 1 hits alien 2, hide the alien. Bam, goes up here. If bullet at 1 is at alien 3, then hide the alien. Easy enough. Once that goes through three times, 
then it's going to go to the next x, and we're going to go to x equals 2. y equals 1, x equals 2, so if bullet number 2, check to see that it hits alien number 3, or sorry, alien number 1. Then check if bullet number 2 hits alien number 2, and so forth. Easy enough? Let's see if it works. Anybody think? This is a subroutine that never gets called. This never gets executed. We have to call it. We have to tell the computer to go look in there. So when are we going to do that? Well, we're going to look at every single tick interval. So every time the timer ticks, we want to look at the, to see if there was a collision. So we're going to call collide right here. Let's try it again. Press play. And so we try shooting here. One of them, two of them, three of them, and well, oh, how come we can't get this guy? Why is he going all sketchy? No, oh, he's safe. He might be uh, the safe alien. He might be alien number zero actually, because we started this at spot zero. Let me think for a second. Yes, that's alien at spot zero, and in our collision detection we just look for alien at spot one. So let's change that to zero. Let's see if that sneaky guy can get hit this time. So we run that. All right, I'm just gonna fire a bunch here. Now we got two. Oh, come on. All right, and there, he's dead. Looks good. Okay. All right, class. So, looks good. I mean, that's all I want to show you for now. You've got aliens moving around. And you got this turret moving around on the bottom. And you can shoot things. So now you may say, all right, well, what do I have to do now? Here's what you need. Number one, you need a splash screen. It's going to introduce your game. Then you need an initial form to show up call it form 2 or maybe form instruction and that's going to provide the instruction to your user and then they're going to click OK and your game is going to start I would also like to see you keep score so how would you keep score well maybe when they hit an alien their score goes up or you could put other picture boxes in here notice we did one alien if you wanted to put other aliens in you can design a different alien and you would give them a different uh, timer so they can move faster and maybe you can color code them differently and when they hit that one maybe their score goes up by five or you can have distractors in there distractor could be a picture of Baojun and my face goes across the screen if they hit Baojun then the game's over because that's just terrible you don't ever want to hit Baojun but let's say you want to put your own picture in there and if they hit you maybe the score goes down so you could your score goes up when you hit aliens but it goes down when you hit bystanders now th think about where that would be okay as i was saying if it's Baljin, game over if it's you could be minus something let me give you a hint all of your scoring is going to go right here this is your collision detection of your alien this alien right here and your bullet so if you want the score to go up you just put in a new line right here and you would need a variable called score and then you would just make score go up if let's say they hit Baljin well that would be right in here if uh, you know bullet intersects with I'm just going to put hits Baojin then game over would go in here okay game over you could end it you can also have a game over uh, okay sorry let me continue the score goes up let's say you have other aliens so here I got Baojin hits an, a bullet hits Baojin you just have another if 
if you know bullet hits uh, you know the green alien then at that point you're gonna say you know score goes up by say 30 okay just as an example um, what else could you do in your own game you could add speed packs so you could drop things from the sky so let's say on your form design you could just have another design and you can have a sp something fall from here really fast and they got to move the turret catch it and then so you're gonna say if the gun collides with something then the interval gets fast okay so we got the alien the score goes up and like I said if something's falling down if it bounds or intersects with the gun maybe you want to make the gun move faster you can make the gun move faster by playing around with this variable right in here where's our gun move right here instead of minus 10 you could go 20 or 25 and then it would go a lot quicker um, if you wanted the bullets to move faster they're pretty much at the fastest interval right now you would just minus this a lot higher so minus it by 10 which would double the speed of it make your form nice okay this form is ugly maybe a title across the top maybe a background image of space maybe your score and all your design features way over here okay you could have your score how many lives you can have player accuracy so let's say every time you shot you would count how many bullets we already have that variable already the number of bullets if you wanted the accuracy you would keep track of another variable right in here that would say hit and maybe hit remember to declare it up here and then every time an alien dot hide happens you would just say hit goes up by one and then you could have a label out on the form that would be the accuracy so that would be hit divided by number of bullets and that would tell you how many bullets you shot and what your accuracy is and if you wanted it to be a percent you would times by 100 so if you went hit divided by number of bullets the times 100 that would tell you what kind of a great shooter you are again I want you guys to figure this out and that's the bulk of the assignment one is following the tutorial but that's pretty easy stuff next is the hard stuff and that's coming up with your own design and your own scoring system um, that's all hope you enjoyed the tutorial later class